let us see the properties of the placeholders. So we have already seen what is the placeholders. Just quickly revising. Placeholder, first of all, it is the namespace. And it is represented by underscore 1, underscore 2, underscore 3, etc. So for example, in this notepad we were seeing here, See, now and when we give underscore actually and then number, that means it is a placeholder Why when we call the bind function. So here you can see maximum number of the placeholder. You can see here this 20 is not a placeholder because we are not writing underscore, but we are writing underscore and then one. So this is a placeholder. So you can see this is the maximum, minimum, both the value. That means only one, uh, one placeholder is present at two with the value underscore one, that means only one argument. So when this bind function, it returns a new function. So this function, when you call, you have to pass only maximum one argument, it means this. So here you can see, first of all, this when we call this bind function, whether we have used the placeholder here, you can see any number which is having underscore before, no, that is not having underscore. 20 is also not having underscore, right? So that means there are no placeholders. That means this bind function, it returns this function. So when we call this function, we are not supposed to pass any argument because no placeholder is there. So you can understand how much important, what is the role of the placeholder? It will decide number of the arguments which you will be passing when you call this new function. The new function which got created when you call this bind function, that is the placeholder. You can see in this case, when you call the bind function and you are passing to underscore one, underscore two, that means you are using placeholders. So what is the maximum value? Underscore two is greater than this, right? So this two is greater than one. That means this underscore two. So two arguments will be passed when you call this function. So and this number of arguments, first of all, they should be simply not they won't be exceeding with number of the arguments in this function. So this is what about the placeholder. One thing we have seen that number of the values, number of the arguments which are required to pass when we call this function, new function, it, it all depends upon the maximum number of the placeholder present when you simply call the bind function. So that is the one property and the second property which we will be seeing here, there are two properties. First of all, the property one is what? Depending on the position of the placeholder, we'll decide the position of the value to pass in the function call. What does it mean? See, it means that in this case, we are calling this bind function and we are having underscore one, underscore two. This we are binding this add function. So what is this add underscore func? It is this add underscore func, right? So, and what first argument will be there? It will be underscore one. And second will be underscore two. This bind will return a new function. When you call this function, the argument which you pass here, so that will be like it will be in the same sequence. That is underscore one. It will be the first argument. That is ten. That means ten will be passed here as a first argument in this function because this new add function you can see it is bind to this add underscore func. So that means it is bind to here. So when we call this, this ten will be having the position underscore one that is the first so this will be the first argument of this function that means this a will be select this 10 right and this second underscore two this will be the second argument so this will decide what will be the first argument of this function what will be the second argument of the function so for example just let me show when you execute these two instructions what does it mean finally this when you call this function it will call this function and it is simply equivalent to what? So let's comment here. Let's understand this property now. If instead of underscore one, I give here underscore two and I give here underscore one. So what, why I'm explaining you this example? I want to explain you this property. This property is related to the position of the placeholder. We have already seen and see one property is related to the position of the placeholder that I will show you in this example and another property you can see it is on depending on the number of placeholders it will decide number of values passed in the function call. So this we already have seen that when we pass here underscore one maximum is underscore one that means when we call a new function only we have to pass one argument. So here it, there are two arguments you can see here maximum what value is there underscore two that means two arguments. So when you call this function new function which it got created when calling this bind function, we have to pass two arguments. So that means the number of the maximum number of the placeholder is what it will decide number of the 
arguments which you have to pass by calling the new function which got created. So this new you can see here we we'll, we are we were passing two arguments. So this is the second property. We already understood that property. We will see the program for that. Before that we will see this property one about the positions as uh, that is depending on the position of the placeholder will decide the position of the value passed in the function call that means here. So this uh, this I have already shown you and what I'm changes I'm doing after this uh, this when I call the bind function first argument is this add underscore func that is it is bind to this function add underscore func add underscore func comma underscore two now what is this an underscore one so what about the position actually property what we were saying that the position of the placeholder will decide value passed when you do the function call so it will see the it will decide the position of the values passed in the function call you are passing underscore two and then you are passing underscore one so you can see here that underscore two that means what actually that means this 10 it will be the second argument and underscore one that means this 20 will be the first argument to what to this function actually so so new underscore add underscore func is bind to this add underscore func so when you call new underscore add func finally uh, ultimately it will call this add underscore func right and since you have given first underscore two underscore one that means this 10 will be present will be the second argument since you have given first underscore two so an underscore one that means this will be the first argument so this is the position of the placeholder this placeholder position it will give so that means it will be equivalent to what so it will be equivalent to add underscore func since this since this 10 actually it is a second argument okay so this will come when you call this function this 10 will be the second argument and here this, this 20 will be first argument so finally 20 comma 10 it will be So you understood the changes. So in earlier cases, we was we was having in this sequence. First underscore one, then underscore two. So finally, what happened when you call this new function in in this manner? But this will be simply uh, this will be corresponding to this function in the same sequence because this is underscore one. That means this ten will be the first argument of this function, and underscore two. That means 20 will be second argument. So it will be in the same sequence. But since you have changed the position, you have given first underscore 2. So this will be the second argument. And you have given under, underscore 1. This will be the first argument. So this is how this is a property of the placeholder. I hope so you understood this property. And also we will see the program for it. So let's move on to the code block IDE. 